Hi, so everyone, so today what I wanted to talk about is using or making uh, data sets in Excel and then using them in R by importing them. So here's a little data set I made. Um, it, if you pay attention to basketball, this is um, a data set with all the NBA rookies. So we have the player name here for the first top 10 picks actually. We have what team they play for, we have their status, whether they're active or injured. We have how many points per game they're scoring, and we also have their salary, um, which all this information you can just find online. So, what you need to do first here is you need to go to File, and I'm going to do Save As, because I already have this. Okay, File, Save As, and I'm actually going to call this uh, N uh, NBA Rooks. And then, wait, the really important thing to do here is normally it'll save it as an Excel workbook here for the format. You want to scroll down here um, and there's a comma separated values uh, .csv. You want to save it as that. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And yeah, that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to look at my desktop and it's right there. Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into R. Now, the important thing for to do this, to be able to do this, is you have to set your working directory first. And I'll explain that in one second. Um, there is a command you could put at the command line, or the console, but I always do this because it's easier. Um, and sometimes you get some, a lot of stuff you have to write in there, but you can just go to session and set working directory, choose directory, or you could do the set WD function with whatever you want to do in there. And what that tells R is it tells R where to look for your files that you want to either save to, like what area you want to save your files to, or where you want to grab your files from. So in this case, it's our Excel, um, our Excel document. So what we need to do now is I'm going to call this mba.rooks, and this is going to be our data uh, frame. And I'm going to do a read.csv function, and our file, what was our file again? MBA rooks, MBA rooks dot csv. And sometimes I forget, but you have to put these in quotation marks, the whole name, or else R won't, R won't read them. And another thing I forgot to mention too is on Excel, when you make these data, when you make the data set, you want to make sure that um, the columns all have names right here. So we have player name, team, status, points per game, salary. Because if you remember for a data frame in R, the columns have to have names. And this is, I mean, you could, R will give them generic names like V1, V2 if you don't have these names. But this way you don't have to go back in and change them. Okay, so let's go ahead and load that up. And the read, the thing that's nice about the read.csv file is it already knows that it's separated by commas each um, entry and that there are column names. So that's a nice thing to do rather than doing read.table. Okay, so let's look at our data set. And here it is. So um, interesting thing to notice. So when you do data frames in R, your column names can't have spaces in between them. But if we look on Excel right here, we had a little space. Well, R will go in there and put a period, put them together, and put a period to separate them. So then we have all this here, and then we could access some elements. So I'm going to do this right now. So NBA.rooks. I mean, for a complex data set, you know, like for I just have 10 rows here. It's easy to see. But let's say for a complex data set, we could do something like this. So let's say I want to look at NBA.rooks. Money sign. Status. I want to look at only the players that are injured, and I want to know what players are injured. Oops. You want to make sure you spell everything right, even caps. And I want to look at their salary. Okay, so if we look here, um, we have Jabari Parker, Joel Embiid, and Julius Randle, who are all injured this season are making $4 million, $3.6 million, and $2.5 million. So they just sit on the bench and they make that much money. Pretty neat. Okay, thanks guys.